For those who know me know I'm a massive boxing fan. My favourite boxer of this era, hands down, is Tyson Fury. I think he's a showman. I think he's the real deal. And with this video, I'm going to show you about John Fury. I think this is where Tyson definitely gets his chat from. I've watched countless hours of John Fury speak. I like John Fury a lot. There's no BS with him. He tells it how it is. I like honesty in people. As well as honesty, John has bags of charisma and humour. I've been absolute stitches watching his interviews. So without further ado, let's throw up the Big John Fury being hilarious compilation video. Come are you from, mate? Do you mind me? We're just having a conversation. Sorry, sorry, yeah, sorry, you know, sorry, sorry. Yeah, just mind your manners. No, that's all right. No, no problem. problem. It's marked his card. He's come out of my nutsack. <laughs> we live to fight. We love it. I've just done 12 years for a fight. I love to fight. And if I could fight now, I probably would do. But these people here, they would aggravate a saint. And what do they know? Nothing. Nothing. They're going home drinking the coffee with their fingers out, trying to be what they're not. He wouldn't even trade with Ruiz. And Ruiz ain't Tyson. It's not about Joshua. There's nowhere for him to go in that ring. When Tyson gets in front of him, smashing that big jab in his face, hitting him to the body, roughing him up. Then it comes down to men and how big your balls are. And Tyson have got balls like two King Kongs and Godzilla rolled into one. So if you ain't got them to match, mate, don't mention my son's name. Enough said on that. This quote here from, from Dana White, to get the exact quote. Yeah. Um, he said on TMZ Sports, I've got a ton of guys that would love to fight him. I just don't know why. Why come over and get smashed when you could just stay there? That was Who's going to smash you? As in, stay in boxing, don't come to the UFC because he'd get smashed in MMA. How does he know about smashing anybody when Tyson comes off a smashing family? Don't hang with Big John. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, and I could probably smash Dana White with one punch. You know what I'm saying? So how can he write my son off like that? Let him talk to me like that. I'll fight him. Match me up with him tonight. He won't be saying that again, would he? Big John's guy. I believe I'm the best 54-year-old man in the world. I'm the fittest, I know that, and I'm the best 54-year-old man on the planet. And I'm going to prove it anytime, any place, anywhere, for free or for money. I want to see Big John versus Mike Tyson. I'd pay good money to see that. So let him take that in his pipe and smoke it. And I mean that, mate. Keep my son's name out of your mouth. If it's not good, don't talk about him. Whatever the British and the government's got against us, it must be serious. Because they've tried everything, apart from shooters. A little lad's fighting his heart out here and get robbed in his own town and British judges. You ought to be ashamed of yourselves, you political bastards. Big John Fury don't mess about, he says what he thinks. Don't mess with Big John Fury. Killer eyes, he was up for it. You know if you've got a bank full of money? Don't even have to have a cock, do you? They can imagine you've got a cock like a fucking elephant. <laughs> uh, Mr Tony Bellew, who recently beat David Hay, has had a lot to say well, regarding... To, I don't know why he's being cheeky. Why has he been cheeky? Because I see him shake his hand. I thought he was a mate of Tice. I know he's trying to drum a few quid up and make a fight for himself. But let me tell you, mate, why are you doing this being an idiot? When you know Tyson could slap you, I don't think you could even beat me, pal. And I'm washed out, finished. You couldn't beat me, mate. So forget my son. Stick to the light heavyweights on unknown cruiserweights, and you'll be all right. You beat David A. Was 100 years old. Forget about that, mate. You can't old. beat Tyson Fury. So stop <laughs> even mentioning his name. Yeah, I could get in that G wagon and pull myself a 22-year-old. Because they're not looking at me. They're looking at the motor. Oh, he's got a few quid. He's uh, he can provide a bit of security, and they will blow you off all night long. Just for that reason. <laughs> if you want a question, mate, let's have a bit of a battle royale. I don't, think many, don't think many people will be taking <laughs> you on that. Uh, You'd job. be surprised at 54 year old, but listen, I give, I've got the best three minutes in me you've ever seen in your life. 
my box of tricks, mate. Uh, definitely do my job outside. Yeah. I wasn't much in the ring because I couldn't use what I had. But outside, I'm a demon still. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I won't back down from what I say from no man. Or kiss no man's ass. Me never. There's my old trainer there. Fernand's made his way out of his job today to be with us. I will get him out of his job and he'll train me. And I'll flog David, eh? In an eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll flog David, eh? Take your time. Forget these cameras. Take your time. That was Tommy Fury there who's boxing the pads, John's other son. I've got to say about him, even though he's got all these Instagram followers, he's got a lot of fame, obviously being Tyson's brother as well, and he's forged his own career in boxing, he seems a very level-headed young man who works hard at his craft. I'm really looking forward to seeing Box Jake Paul if that match happens. I've also got to say kudos to Jake Paul, whatever you think about him, he's bringing new followers to the sport and it takes a man to get in the ring. So whatever you say about YouTubers shouldn't be in the fighting game, yada yada yada, you know, you've got to give props to Jake Paul, fair play to him for getting in there. You can be 65, look like John Medic and you're pulling a 25 year old bird. Yeah. I'm not going to say things to please you, because you've... <laughs> John Merrick is the elephant man. <laughs> but a bad day. If I think you're wrong, I'm going to tell you you're wrong. You know, and if I'm wrong, I want people to tell me I'm wrong. Not kiss me backside and say, you know, okay, that wall's made of chocolate biscuits when I know it's not. Yeah, have you ever seen the film Braveheart? Braveheart, yes, Mel yes, Gibson. Yeah. Do you remember the old man in the loft? Yes. What was the leper? Yeah. I'm him. Get up! Get up from down! Get up from down to my son of the warrior! That's what you've got to do! Give him a bow! And you'll never see him again ever! And I appreciate what you're seeing! Jonathan Ross has been on the phone! Pierce Brosnan will be on the phone! The Queen will be up with some medals! The two levels apart, mate. You know, like the aliens are light years in front of us in brain power. That's how my son is in front of Joshua in ability. Do you understand me now, what I'm saying? Do I get the picture across? I totally agree. He can't do it! He's got slow feet, he's got a few flash stands, he goes like that, one, two, left up, chin stuck in the air. You see him, he's blown out of his ass, I mean, he gets a bit of pressure put on him. Tyson will do more than pressurise him, mate. He'll be crying after four rounds, tears will be rolling out of his eyes like Marafat Peas. <laughs> tears like Marafat Peas, man. <laughs> Here's one for you. Who's going to win out of Joshua and Fury if that fight ever happens? You know what I'm saying, Fury all day long. Who are you saying? But he can't do any good. He'd be swinging like that. Oh, where's he gone? Pop, pop, bang. On the floor. End of. Give me them belts back where you're stolen. You bum. <laughs> and that's it. Okay, that's the end of the video. John Fury, you're an absolute legend. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out these videos next. And I'll see you in the next one. Laters.